These highlights brought to you by the Firkin Tavern with dozens of big screens, pool, and the best food and drink specials you gotta go with the Firkin Tavern in Ewing. That's my girl. If Fifth Harmony knew Chrissy DeCindio or anyone on the West Windsor Plainsboro Northern Knights or Ewing Blue Devils, they'd likely say that's my girl for reaching this Mercer County Tournament Final. Knights in blue, Devils in white. First period, this is knocked away and taken away by the Knights' Siani Hunt. She'll take it all the way and bank it off the glass. Hunt, one of four North seniors wanting this trophy. Ewing on the move, Myasha Jackson to Kyla Peterson to Denia Campbell for three. That's a big whoosh for Wandishan. W is also for Watson, Jasmine that is, of the Knights. Here she is for three. First quarter, largely Northern Knights, 16-8 after one. Key for the Devils, though, would be takeaways. Jackson breaking this up, coming down with it nicely. Looks and finds Campbell on a breakaway, wide open, and that is a deuce. Part of a 16-point night for Campbell. She, in fact, was a big reason why Ewing was able to totally turn things around in the second quarter. The Blue Devils took a 29-23 lead into the locker room at halftime with them. Third period, more Campbell from beyond the arc. That's perfect. Later in the third, Kayla Sexton to Maya Grimes working against Descindio, and she sinks it. The Blue Devils' lead was as large as 15, but the final period began and the Northern Knights started pulling out all the stops. Watson with a defensive board here. She was on fire all four quarters, 18 points more than anyone, two of them there. Later in the fourth, Watson again with it, the plucky guard playing the point so well, sinks another. Northern Knights on their way to a possibly epic comeback. Watson to Hunt to Natalie Everett from downtown. That's a tray. Fast forward to the final minute of the game, tied at 44 all, North with it. Watson to Jordan Brown. She finds Descindio who shoots, and she hits it with just under five seconds left. The West Windsor Plainsboro fans go wild. Their ladies on a 23-6 run. Both teams come together to talk strategies. Here we go, Ewing with the inbound. It's tipped, broken up, Brown comes away with it. They foul her, she'd go to the line and hit one of two. Grimes with the rebound, time for a Teresa Witherspoon miracle shot, they would never get it off. Ball game over, Mercer County tournament over. The fourth seeded West Windsor Plainsboro Northern Knights with an electrifying second half of action come from 15 down to beat Ewing, 47-44 your final. After the game, awards presented to both sides. Jasmine Watson chosen the game's most valuable player, one heck of an accomplishment for the senior. And then, of course, the Gary Buscelli Trophy, named for the longtime Heightstown Athletic Director, presented to the Northern Knights. We spoke with them after. I'm like more excited that we, we won this entire thing. Like we just made history as like an entire team. So the feeling is a good thing to have this award, but also to win MCT. Just a team effort. Everybody worked so hard to get it back. Um, we kind of didn't, I didn't really know that we were down by that much. We just knew that we could win. Honestly, the key word is team. Our team has come together in a huge way. When you hit the go-ahead bucket, just tell me about how great it felt. I knew that there was still four seconds left on the clock, and I know that that's a lot of time in basketball, so I tried to stay focused on the moment, celebrate for half a second in my head, and then just get right back into the game. For Sports Skillet Radio, I'm Mark Fontes.